High school football kicks off on Friday night, which means Operation Football is back. Dave Calabro and I will have you covered all season. Now, when it comes to the Warren Central Warriors, they're trying to go back to back as Class 6A state champions, but this team looking a lot different than the one that made the run all the way to Lucas Oil Stadium last year. The padding on the uprights at Warren Central have run out of room to list their state championships. The Warriors currently waiting on the new ones to arrive, ones that include last year's 2018 title. I believe that we're the next team to, uh, to do a repeat because our class is strong. You know, we got some new guys coming in from other schools. In order to add 2019 to that padding, the Warriors have some work to do. Head coach Jason West is the first to admit that. The expectations is they're going to walk out there and win, but realistically, that's not how it works. So it looked easy last year when, when it was going down, I'm sure. But now they have to get out there and they have to do it. So I, I think that we can't even worry about what we did yesterday. We have to focus on today to get better for tomorrow. This year's motto, new team, same dream. 39 seniors graduated from that championship squad. That includes star wide receiver David Bell, quarterback Jaden George, and running back Ramir Elliott. We have 39 seniors again this year, which is kind of funny. We had 39 last year, so it's really nice to have a large group of seniors, and they're nice young men, they're good students, they're working hard. So, you know, uh, talent wise, I don't know if we'll be able to replicate what we lost, but with uh, teamwork, you can accomplish anything, and that's kind of the motto, and that's why it's in place. Coach says this offseason, the Warriors trained harder than ever before to prepare for what's to come on Friday night. Man, the main reason I think it was worse than ever is because he knew we were coming back young. We're kind of small this year, but we had to build our bodies to be bigger, stronger, and faster than everybody else. I'm actually glad we start out with probably the toughest schedule in the country because let's find out what we stink at and let's, let's, let's try to fix it. it you know, winning is a great deodorant and it can cover up some things. With youth and inexperience this season, the outside expectation for the Warriors isn't as high. The Associated Press has them ranked behind Carmel and Center Grove. We all know that uh, we should be number one, and that's all, all it's going to do is make us even fight even harder, make us go game by game and win every game. Well, they should think of what they want. I'm not worried about the rank, the rank I'm just ready to ball, play ball, and have fun with it. So we'll see if Warren Central can replicate that same success they saw in 2018. And it all starts right here on Friday night as the Warriors welcome Center Grove here to the east side. For now, from Warren Central High School, Taylor Tannenbaum, Channel 13 Eyewitness Sports. Yeah, we're excited.